Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we're back again for another video. In this video I will show you how to bypass the activation screen which is the protection lock when you get verify Google account to the Samsung Galaxy A21. This method will apply to other Samsung devices that doesn't have Knox protection. A lot of video have seen the use Alliance Shield X app which is this phone doesn't have Knox, so it's not gonna work for you so we're gonna use a different method should be easy because I will explain everything for you step by step and I will tell you exactly what you need to do before we do that step so hopefully you will be able to bypass the Google activation screen in any Samsung phone that has Android 11 now before we start make sure to subscribe if you haven't give me a thumbs up to encourage me and let's find out Now I just want to pay your attention, I'm not doing these videos to help thief, this only for educational purposes only. Now you guys before we start to do the steps, you are required to have another Samsung device. So this is very important, so if you don't have another Samsung device, uh, you're not going to be able to complete the same steps that we're doing. In addition to this, you are required on the phone that you have here the Samsung and this phone has to be just a regular phone doesn't have the Google activation lock you have to have Samsung account so first we will have to have a Samsung phone and then we have to sign in with a Samsung account I will show you now where you can go in your Samsung phone and apply for Samsung account or create one in case if you don't have one now there are so many ways to log into your Samsung account for instance go to the Galaxy Store once you tap on Galaxy Store the phone will give you option to sign in with your Samsung account the existing one or you can create one if you don't have Samsung account and this is very important second way go to the settings you guys should be able to go to the top right there the first option when you go to settings and once you tap right there if you don't have your Samsung account already on the phone the phone will ask you to uh, sign in with your Samsung account so either way you can do it by applying to Galaxy Store or go to the first option in the settings or you can go to accounts and backup and from here you can add your Samsung account so make sure you have the Samsung account already sync to the other Samsung phone that we're gonna use and then later on we're gonna use the same account on the phone that we are trying to do the Google bypass now the second step also we need to do it on the phone that has no Gmail lock and all I need from you go to the browser on this phone and you will need to go to the search and you need to type the following easy flashing bypass Android 11 so when you tab here you should get this as the first option so go ahead scroll all the way down till you see easy flashing bypass Android APK number one and then easy flashing bypass Android APK number two now by tapping on this you should be able to download this application in your device you're gonna get here and you just need to press right there and that should download so you you should get like a message till you download now for me I have already download these two apps now once you download both applications I want you to go to file manager on the galaxy phone you have and that should be under Samsung folder file manager and then go to internal storage and go to your download and you guys should be able to see these two applications the first one called bar settings APK the second one package uh, this bar dot APK now let me tell you how you install these applications for instance if you want to do the bar settings and we should do both now it's going to ask you to download install and the installing is going to start now if the install doesn't start it should take you to the option where you need to allow or enable the unknown source All right. so after you make sure everything is downloaded just make sure you have these two applications 
installed in your phone the notification bar and the package application now you can say we have done for right now with this phone and we need to go to the other Samsung phone that we are trying to uh, uh, unlock the phone with the Google activation screen now you need to activate the talkback on the phone so press volume down volume up together and hold and don't let it go press and hold both volume keys for three seconds to use talkback if you get this message hit use and do it one more time talk back on there you go welcome to talk back welcome to talk close 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 verify your account with your google account now you're required to do a Sign gesture in. and this verify gesture is going to be like l account. but the opposite way learn more Web so view. just like this, this device was reset you should Allow get talk back to record audio so go ahead and enable this option use voice when use when you use button. before you click double here you just have to uh, say google assistant okay so double tap google assistant google now switch off the talk back volume down volume up together talk back off now i just want you to go to the microphone right there and i want you to say screen screen opening brightness screen opening brightness now when you say screen it's going to take you to the settings without going to the website blah 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 so that it's a lot easier then go back here now you need to sign in with the same Samsung account we did on this phone. So to do this, go to Samsung account. And here's going to ask you to put the email and the password. You should know this because you have already signed in with the other Samsung phone. Now let's just go ahead and do this very quick. Go ahead and click next. Now you have already logged into the Samsung account on this phone. Hit agree. Now it says sign in. Now you have signed in with your Samsung account. So what I need from you on the same page, let me just go back, go here, and scroll all the way down till you get Samsung app and services. So go ahead and you will need galaxy store tab here you might get some update so go ahead and update the samsung store there we go so hit update it could take a few seconds let's go yeah I'm like an addict. Now after the update, just go ahead and tap a Galaxy Store because it's going to take you back. Now from here, I just need you to download this launcher. So type launcher. And hit search. The one we need, OS 14 launcher. So go ahead and download this one. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power. And open the launcher. I was gonna say enter. And then you just have to go with the screen like this till you see app library. Hit on start now just tap anywhere and storage permission allow allow now you have access to many application here but the apps that we need to do the one that we installed on the other Samsung phone not yet available in this device 
Now I need you to activate the uh, accessibility shortcut menu. So go to the settings. And this is very important. Go to accessibility. And go to interaction. And you're going to see universal switch. Just tap here and hit escape. Now you will see universal switch shortcut. Enable this option. Hit allow and tap here and tap accessibility button now go back and make sure you have this logo right there as you guys can see so you need this logo later on in this video now what I need from you to go back and I want you to go back on the account and stay on this page so we need to bring the other phone right now now we need to go to the settings on the other Samsung phone and then go to account and backup and under Samsung cloud I want you to click on backup data. Now it's going to give you a list of options but what I need here the applications. So I don't need all of these because it's going to take a while. So make sure you enable the apps and hit backup and you just have to allow till the backup is complete it might take a few seconds because I don't have so many apps on this device taste mine I'm gonna stay in power for a long time get up now I ain't a quitter toss me the now the backup is complete right now leave this phone here for right now and I want you to go back to the to this phone you remember when I ask you to open the account backup now we're technically syncing the same Samsung account. Now I need you to press restore data and this icon in the bottom right there that we just activate together at the same time. So one, two, three. When you see this, hit cancel. Now before you hit and restore, I want to make sure that the phone back up the applications that we need the two applications so I can press on this arrow right there and review all these applications notification bar and the package pro are available so I need to unselect all I just only need these two applications notification bar and the package and hit done now restore and now install Big hitter, big picture, I'm a straight killer Rise the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come Now, these two applications already synced to this phone Now go back You can just say later And go back Go back to the launcher Now you will see that you have these two applications already in this phone. At this moment we don't need this phone anymore. Also make sure that you don't have a service plan on the phone. You don't have an active SIM card on the phone. Just the Wi-Fi for right now. Now let's go ahead and go to the notification and open the application. Now it's gonna say accessibility and notification. Enable the accessibility and go to install service notification bar and enable allow now go ahead and go back back notification right here enable and then you have to enable the notification bar one more time and hit allow now what's gonna happen you will have the notification bar and I will tell you why we need this notification bar now go out from this because the notification bar should work on the phone with no problems now next step go to the settings and then go to privacy and tab on permission manager and then you will need to go to storage now some phone is not going to tell you storage, some Samsung phone is going to tell you a uh, file and something like this, but in this phone specifically it says storage. 
Now I want you to go to three dots right there and show all system apps. Now you need to search to the application that we installed, which is the other application. The package application, then type allow, hit allow. Now you allow this application. Now you just need to go back to the application itself. Now you need to open the application right there. But before we do this, just go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi because it's not going to start if the Wi-Fi is on. If you have any internet, this application won't start. That's why I recommend not to have active SIM card on the phone. Go ahead and tap on the package application and hit agree enable and activate now when you get the agree screen go ahead and enable the Wi-Fi back on and make sure the Wi-Fi it kicked in now hit agree you're gonna get this uh, wrong message retry but that is fine now you just need to wait a little bit till the phone upload all the applications. There we go. So we got it. Now here you just need to search and you have to type setup. You guys can see this Android setup right there that has the gear icon. So go ahead and tap on. You need to disable this application and tap anywhere in the screen and now you need to type Samsung setup this is the Samsung setup wizard right there just clear data don't disable just clear data now from here we just need to go back so just go ahead and hit back and wait a few seconds now we're gonna get this screen so go ahead and hit next escape continue finish right now you're almost complete the whole process but here what I recommend to do because you have installed application as unknown source on the phone you don't want to continue use the phone and you have these applications so the best thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to uh, the settings and then we need to go to we just need to do a factory reset for this device and the phone is gonna be laggy and it's gonna be slow but after you do the factory reset you shouldn't have these issues and reset now factory data reset and reset it might take time because the phone is very laggy and delete all data now it's gonna ask you for the password for the Samsung account so go ahead put the Samsung uh, account password and the phone will do the factory reset we will back to you after the factory reset is complete after finishing factory reset hit start next you can escape right now don't copy and next and accept escape escape anyway and finish and you got it my friend congratulations you have successfully bypassed the activation 
lock by Google on the Samsung device. I wish you guys find this video helpful. If it did, you can always encourage me and subscribe, give me thumbs up. As always, we'll talk to you in the next video. Back better than last year, so no me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow and I move fast, and that's fast.